Greetings, family. It is Empress D. I am obviously in nature, but it's the rainiest of rainiest days. So that's what's up. That's why I got the umbrella and the rain coat on. Um, but as as I hope you guys know by now, rain does not stop me from getting out in nature. Family, honestly, I hope you're well. I hope you're taking advantage of the beautiful environment our planet provides us in the natural in the natural areas of the plant so the natural environments oh my gosh look at this look at this look at this nature like so i'm gonna just a little sidebar so i live in a community where there's a lot of south asian immigrants and what i find is they they are always taking pictures um of the of the of this of this water right they seem to be like mesmerized and marveled by it so one day i was curious and i said so you know i noticed i noticed that uh, um a lot of people you know from south asia take pictures of, of the water fascinated by it can why is that and they and they shared with me they said in in india where a lot of them have um immigrated from they don't have lakes and creeks and and stuff like that water is not as abundant as it is in North America so ever since I learned that I've been taking advantage and feeling even more grateful um, of the environment that we have that's why I encourage you guys get out and enjoy it because honestly uh, you know what we're very blessed um, we're very blessed right to be in this environment especially and I and I know so in the North America where where I experience all four seasons. I know I'm very blessed for that. Anyway, family, um, I hope you guys are well and getting out in this. I really do. Um, I wanted to talk specifically about something today, and it is distractions. Hmm. Distractions, distractions, distractions. Family, in all my years of life, I don't think that there was ever a time that there was so much going on at once. There's so much going on at once, family. We've got two wars going on. Oh my gosh, we've got two wars going on. We still have the lingerings and the energy. Hi, Ducky. The energy surrounding COVID-19 lingering in the air. So we've got war, we've got pestilence. Ah, we see the economy, right? which could lead to famine. We also know that we've got major bridges and transportation um, hubs that have been destroyed, right? So that's obviously gonna lead to supply chain issues, right? Family, we are in some times and I don't think that there's ever been a time where we've been all faced with all of this all at once. So what did I say? We've got war, we've got pestilence, and we have income and famine. And I, I, I've been seeing it since COVID. The shelves have been shrinking and shrinking. The availability, availability of products has been going down and down and down. I notice these things when I walk around. So we are heading for famine. And lastly, what is it? Death, right? Hmm. Family, we're in times, right? So I don't, my whole point in talking about that is that we have never had so many things going on at once, right? So many issues to be drawing our attention to, right? Um, in addition to politics, in addition to personal issues, everybody I know is going through something right now. Oh my goodness, what a time. And not to mention um, <laughs> entertainment, right? There's so much going on every day, a new breaking story family which all amounts to a whole heap of distractions right and and distractions from what you might ask right distraction uh the distraction from having quiet time with yourself right so i feel like i've kind of figured out that it's quiet time with yourself that gets you further along the path of getting to know yourself right quiet time with yourself so I've noticed that since I've been coming to nature and the majority of my time in nature is quiet time with myself right I don't listen to any music or anything it's just my brain and, and nature 
right? That's also the case when I meditate, right? So that's two times the day. And I go on a couple of walks a day, family, in addition to my meditation where it's just me and my brain. And so I come to realize the more time you spend with your thoughts, meaning no distractions, right? No phone, no book, no music, just you and your thoughts leads you to get to know yourself, right? I think that I heard about an experiment and I don't want to misquote it and I don't know what the experiment is, but it, I'm going to give you the, the, the gist of the experiment. So the whole... <laughs> Oh my gosh, so the, the researchers had obviously the control group and the, they had two, they had people, a group of people, sorry. And they explained to them that they were going to be required to just, you know, sit there in a quiet room, no distractions, nothing, just their thoughts. When it became time when they didn't want to do it anymore, they could press a button. That button would result in a physical shock, so physical discomfort. The majority of participants didn't last very long before they went to press the button to get the shock versus spending time with themselves, right? And their own thoughts. So family, you know what? That's the key. I really encourage people to do it and what a better place to do it than in nature, right? And so what's going on now is so many distractions that kind of take a take up all of our time where we don't have that time for introspection or that time with our thoughts right often the shower is a good spot to do it and a lot of times people say that they get ideas in the shower and that's because they're in that time with the words just them and their thoughts right so family i encourage you i encourage you to try to filter out the distractions or at the very minimum set aside a few minutes a day where it's just you and your thoughts. You don't have to sit in the lotus pose with your eyes closed, with, with mudras on your hands to meditate. You can just sit in a quiet room or sit in your car, wherever, go for a walk in nature. Just a prescribed amount of time every day with just you and your thoughts. I dare you, I dare you to try it family, anyway. I am going to continue my walk. I really, I really hope everybody's well, you know. Um, I hope everybody's well. And one way to do that is get out. Get out in nature. Anyway, family, thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. I really love and I value each and every one of you. One love.